。这款字已经定稿多少字了？呃，已经做了五千三百字，其中两千六百字已经修改完成了，另外的两千七百字还在审核中。整个字库要做九千八百八十四个字。还有四千五百字，确实时间上有点紧。吉王圣教序 means the preface to the Buddha scriptures engraved on stone in Wang Xizhi's collated characters. 吉王 means a collection of individual characters of Wang Xizhi's calligraphy. During the Tang Dynasty over a thousand years ago, the monk Huai Ren searched authentic calligraphy works of Wang Xizhi. From all over the country, he combined each individual character to form the Sheng Jiao Xu, written by Emperor Taizong of Tang, and carved it into a stele. This is the famous Ji Wang Sheng Jiao Xu stele, which became a main source for studying Wang Xizhi's calligraphy style in later generations. Today. Fawn designers are also collecting individual characters from Wang Xizhi's calligraphy to create a computer font library called Wang Xizhi Running Script. Now, the problem is still the geometry and the details. Yes, it's a problem. The geometry is very complex, and the details are too many. It's not very good. So, Wang Xizhi's calligraphy will be more obvious. 那我们可以处理的左边小一点，右边大一点，这样有这种呃错落感。On the Ji Wang Sheng Jiao Xu stele, there are only 755 unique characters. While designing a complete font library that includes simplified and traditional Chinese will require 9,884 characters. For characters that do not exist. Designers have to combine and create them, from selecting and combining characters to determining the structure and stroke design. They need to not only conform to the modern Chinese character standards, but also reflect Wang Xizhi's calligraphic style. Another problem is that the Wang Xizhi is the Baker. Wang Xizhi's Lan Xi, the Mobile Version, is the Wang Xizhi version. The Wang Xizhi version is the Wang Xizhi version. 千丝连带啊，我们要不要给它加上去？可以看到，我本几乎每一笔都有笔锋，啊，这种出锋的感觉。这个跟吉王圣教序其实差别还是很大的。吉王圣教序是刀刻的，刻的时候不可能把这些所有的细节都刻出来。我们在做字库的时候，整体的风貌向吉王圣教序看齐。四连黑连的地方，其实我们可以参考一下这个我本。The handling of every stroke's detail is crucial for the font style. While digitizing the rubbing of the Ji Wang Sheng Jiao Xu, directly using software to trace the stroke lines will result in significant loss. Repairing each character manually may result in distortion. To achieve the best results, designers have to fill in the strokes along the inner contours. And then adjust the structure and details based on Wang Xizhi's calligraphic style. This process needs to be repeated tens of thousands of times. This part of the stele is the Ji Wang Sheng Jiao Xu. It is one of the nine characters of the Ji Wang Sheng Jiao Xu. It is a collection of the Ji Wang Sheng Jiao Xu. If the Ji Wang Sheng Jiao Xu is not able to do it, how do we solve it? 有一些字就是使用了相近的字形来代替，这也不排除他亲自去摹写。The journey of collecting Wang Xizhi's calligraphy started in the Tang Dynasty and has continued through the Song, Yuan, Ming, and Qing dynasties. 
While Huai Ren's Ji Wang Sheng Jiao Xu has allowed Wang Xizhi's calligraphy to be passed down for 1500 years, computer fonts can now bring the Wang script to every computer and every mobile phone in the world. It allows anyone who's interested to become acquainted with it and use it. Digitalization may help preserve the Chinese calligraphy forever. From Ji Wang Sheng Jiao Xu Li Bei to today. It has been 1,351 years since the erection of the Ji Wang Sheng Jiao Xu Stele. It was indeed a monumental undertaking. Professional teachers, how do you look at it? Yes, the Ji Wang Sheng Jiao Xu is a huge event. We've seen the movie The Ji Wang Sheng Jiao Xu. The Ji Wang Sheng Jiao Xu was indeed a significant event. We're all familiar with Journey to the West. Monk Xuanzang went to India to obtain Buddhist scriptures. After translating the scriptures, he asked Emperor Taizong to write a preface, and then asked Crown Prince Li Zhi to write an introduction. Xuanzang himself also wrote a thank you letter. Because Emperor Taizong was particularly fond of Wang Xizhi's calligraphy, the monk Huai Ren from Hongfu Temple in Chang'an was commissioned to collect Wang Xizhi's calligraphy for the Sheng Jiao Shu. This was an immense project. Emperor Taizong provided strong support. It is recorded that he used treasure funds to purchase Wang Xizhi's calligraphic works across the country and got as many as 2,290 sheets. If there were missing characters, he would spend a large sum of money to acquire them. Therefore, this stele is also known as a thousand gold stele. So, this stele has another name called the thousand gold stele. So, this stele has another name called the thousand gold stele. So, this stele has another name called the thousand gold stele. From a professional perspective, how do you view the Ji Wang Sheng Jiao Xu stele, Professor Chen? First of all, it has its cultural value. It later became one of the most classic works in the history of calligraphy, especially in the running script. Speaking of the Ji Wang Sheng Jiao Xu itself, it is a copied work. Wang Xizhi's original works were largely lost. The compilation of the Ji Wang Sheng Jiao Shu precisely preserved a lot of information about Wang Xizhi's calligraphy. In the eyes of ancient people, it was considered very authentic, with the effect of every stroke and dot clearly visible. According to current statistics, there are about 60 or more characters from the Lan Ting Ji Shu used in it. It has greatly contributed to the preservation of Wang Xizhi's calligraphy. Secondly, when Huai Ren made this stele, he consciously conveyed Wang Xizhi's creative characteristics of each character, and the arrangement is lively. When compiling characters, the most important thing is to avoid having each character appear too monotonous or fragmented. So he tried to use many variations of characters. For example, characters like Yo and Wu have many different ways of writing. The sizes vary naturally. With different degrees of thickness, length, and variation. We have just discussed the many merits of the Ji Wang Sheng Jiao Shu. When Huai Yun compiled the characters, he considered many variations and aimed for coordination and unity. However, when compared to the original works, there are still issues regarding the coherence between the characters. Therefore, when studying the Ji Wang Sheng Jiao Shi, we recommend comparing it with the Lan Ting Ji Shi to better understand the structure of Wang Xizhi's characters and feel the charm of the brushwork and the overall coherence of the text. Therefore, personally, I believe that when practicing the Ji Wang Sheng Jiao Shi, the key lies not in the similarity of form, but in the similarity of spirit. 今天的现场，我们也邀请三十位来自。Today we've invited thirty calligraphy enthusiasts from all over the country to write down their desired poems with the calligraphy style of the sage of calligraphy Wang Xizhi.
好 ，Let's take a look at the writing of the calligraphy enthusiast. Everyone has written down their desired poems, and let's invite some of them to share with us. 大家好。我叫耿文霞，来自上海，是一名法律工作者。我选的这个内容叫“遇事无难易，而勇于敢为”。我觉得这句话对于我来说是一种勉励。不论是学术的道路上，还是人生的道路上，都会遇到各种困难，但我们只要坚定信心，努力的去奋斗，就会有所收获。大家好，我叫刘媛，是来自于内蒙古乌海的一名教师。我写的是“吾日三省吾身”。每天我在坚持写字的时候，我都会不断反省我有没有进步。而我身边的榜样就是矿工书法家们，他们在工作之余还在坚持练习书法。为了更好地提高我的书法创作的能力，我会经常去桌子山看岩画。它质朴的线条，和谐的表达，向人们展示着积极向上的生活态度，也更激励着我不断进取。希望大家都能做到无日三省吾身。谢谢，谢谢，谢谢大家的。Thank you for the presentations. The displays by our calligraphy enthusiasts have shown us the beauty of calligraphy and spiritual pursuits. We also hope that everyone can not only write but also embody the essence of calligraphy and become a better version of ourselves. 自己